What's up everybody? Let's take a look at this static electricity question, parallel plates. Um, so the first question is just asking about the uh, the FPD essentially. Actually not the FPD is it? This is the, um, the electric field vectors. So remember one of the key things with parallel plates is that the electric field is the same everywhere and so the way you test it is you just put a positive charge you say what would it do? Well in this case a positive charge is going to go up and so if we put it here, it's going to go up. If we put it here, it's also going to go up. Remember, the magnitudes are also the same, like most of the place, like here to here. On the edges, remember, it might be a little bit weaker over here on the edges, but for the most part, they're going to be the same. So when you draw these in, you're just going to want to make sure you draw two that are exactly the same length, and they're both going up. Question B, we're going to stick a proton right here. We're going to let it go. It's going to go up. We're going to put an electron right here. It's going to go down. And basically, they just want you to figure out the velocities uh, with respect to each other. So for this, we're going to use conservation of energy. So we'll use UE. That's the electric potential energy down here at the bottom. That's going to turn into kinetic energy when it reaches the top. So the equation for QE is going to be Q times V. That's going to equal 1 half. Now this is going to be the M of a, let's do the proton first, times the V of the proton squared. Remember, this would be Q of the proton. We'll do the same for the electrons. So we have QE V equals, again, same thing, 1 half M electron velocity electron squared. Remember the charge of an electron, charge of the proton are both the same, right? And so this part right here are essentially going to be the same as well. So if we set these equal to each other, we're going to get 1 half mp vp squared equals 1 half mass of electron v electron squared. And now we're just going to do a little bit of algebra, right? So the 1 halves cancel out. Um, what are we solving for, by the way? We're solving for the V of the electron. And again, make sure your answer only has the variables that they're giving you. Um, at this point, it looks like that's all we're left with. So it's just a matter of doing the algebra here. So the velocity of the electron should equal the mass of the proton divided by the mass of the electron and Vp squared. Oops, that's squared, right? So it's square root both sides. And there you go. So that should be your answer. If you want to clean it up a little bit, I guess you could. We could put square root of VP over VE and then just square root the square. So let's look at the last part of this question. This is one of these paragraph questions that you should expect to see. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to move the plates apart and we're going to keep the charge the same. And the base question is, what's going to happen to the potential difference? All right, so the first thing when you do these is you kind of want to um, figure out what are some of the major points I want to make. These are typically five-point questions. And usually the last point is just kind of a coherence section. So you want to try to find maybe like four major things to talk about. Okay, or at the very least, try to think of maybe three. So in this case, we have these two. They are trying to attract, right? So if I want to move this plate away from the, um, the negative plate away from the positive plate, I'm going to need to apply a force on it. When I apply a force, I'm going to be moving at a certain distance. So the key idea here is that we're doing work on the plate. So I'm going to have to do work on the plate to move it. Um, if Let's say I wanted to bring them closer. Well, to bring them closer, they naturally want to attract, right? So these are naturally attractive. So to bring it closer, I would actually, well, if I just let it go, it's going to turn into like a kinetic energy. It's going to get faster. So if I wanted to move slowly together, I would actually apply a force this way as well and just kind of slowly let it move in a distance in this direction. So in that case, I'd be doing negative work. So anyway, back to this one. If we're doing positive work, that means we are adding energy, right? So if we're adding energy, that means the energy should go up. So our U 
E, our electric potential energy, should increase. So since UE is increasing, remember UE is equal to QV, and what they're asking about is this electric potential. Well, we now know there's going to be more energy. So I'm doing work here. I'm adding energy into this system. By adding energy into it, there's more energy, obviously. And so if there's more energy, that means there should be more potential. Remember, our charge here was staying the same. And there we go. So anyway, you do want to phrase this, put this in a paragraph form. Um, I kind of just highlighted some of the major points that you'd want to cover and talk about. Um, if you read the rubric, they actually, I feel like they do a pretty good job giving you an example. Um, I made an example as well. And for this example, um, yeah, just go ahead and read it over. It's basically what I just said, but kind of putting it more in um, paragraph form. So remember I said you want to look for four major points. So I would say at the minimum, you probably want to have, you know, four sentences, four to five sentences. So for example, uh, here's one major point. Charge plates are attracted to each other. Um, for me to separate the two plates, I need to do a force, do work, apply a force, do work, um, adding energy to the system. This would be like my third point. System has more energy. Charge is the same. Potential difference should increase. Okay, and you know, you really want to keep the, the equations minimal. Um, definitely, if there's proportionalities, you can pop out those equations to show that. I mean, I could have even done like work equals force distance in here. But for the most part, you, um, you just want to kind of be explaining the concepts. All right, let me know if you have any questions about this guy.